that surgery mm -mm, cannot fix. Like I noticed, gentlemen, as you get older, the belt line starts to rise till it becomes like an underwire bra for the man boobies. <laughs> yeah, where's the nip and tuck for that? And then unfortunately for ladies, as we get older, like the hand steps waving, but the underarm doesn't. Yeah, I'm not there yet, but I could tell I'm getting older because the noises in my body are getting louder than the noises in my head. <laughs> it's a little distracting, a little distracting. Although I'm thinking though, the other weird thing about getting older, no, okay, see, I don't know if it's just me, but I'm gonna confess. I notice that my nipples are starting to operate independently. <laughs> Does that happen when women are just, I don't know, but it's like I'm going this way and they're kind of looking over there and looking and look, we're going this way we're going now don't try to look now because I have on my comedy bra <laughs> yes because as a female comic you have to learn to be to know that we're all laughing at the same set so I've got the comedy bra no underwear but I got the bra well I don't like underwear it's marketing crap I don't believe in the underwear I, well it just should be it's not even underwear it should be called like wedged in there it's horrible, literally, it's a pain in the butt. I tried wearing the thong, I did. I wore it for like a month and it took me a month to realize I was wearing mine backwards. <laughs> of course, if you're looking for a quick pick-me-up, there is that. But I, it's just, ugh, I don't, I need the ventilation. I do, I need the ventilation. In fact, I was thinking during the summer, especially during the heat wave, I am so happy I don't have a scrotum. <laughs> Seriously, gentlemen, I don't know how you do this. This is some sticky, sweaty business. How do you deal with that, especially in the hot weather? Like, why aren't you walking around like that? <laughs> you know, I would think, like, you'd have, like, non-stick spray for that or something. <laughs> Seriously, having a scrotum to me would be like peeling yourself off of grandma's hot plastic furniture with every step you take. No, I'm glad I don't have a scrotum.